Hey scrollers, Bob here with scrollsoftforum.com. I just wanted to give you a little tip here on blade tensioning, something that might be overlooked by a lot of people. Uh, with new, brand new blades, they tend to stretch a little bit at the first time you install them. So let me go ahead and take this brand new number three blade, go ahead and install it real quick. Okay, you pull down a little bit when you install the blade and see it's a little bit loose because there's no tension on it, but it's nothing extraordinary. So now let's put some tension on it. I like to run the saw for five or 10 seconds. Give it a little stress on the blade. Okay, now we're just going to loosen the tension back up. Now you can see the blade actually stretched. There's no slippage there. Everything's still tight, but the blade is a lot looser now than it was. So all we do is simply just loosen the top knob up, let the blade find its own spot, tighten it back down, and now we got a real nice tension on it, and it should not stretch anymore. But I do like to periodically check it as I'm cutting because it's really simple and easy to do. Now this has nothing to do with the function of the saw. This little procedure should work on any scroll saw. It's just so happened it's pretty easy on my scroll saw because of the little lever. But it should work on your saw too. It might not work on all blades depending on the manufacturer of the blades, but the blades I use, the blades do stretch and uh, it's just something to keep an eye on and I've gotten in the habit of checking it every time I put a new blade in. So anyway, I hope that helps. Hope you learned something a little bit new. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see them. And don't forget to visit my blog at www.scrollsoftforum.com. And as always, everybody, happy scrolling.